Mr. Leahy, please. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Leahy. Isn't it a nice, crisp day here in Chicago? Quite a change from the wind and the rain we've been having. Well, Mr. Leahy, I have some good news for you. I have received the results of the test we took for you last week, and they show that you appear to be in good health. Okay. Oh, well, now, hey, wait a minute, sir. Uh, you don't seem very happy about that. Is there something on your mind you'd like to discuss with me? Well, the problem is, when I have sex with my wife, I get all hot and sweaty. And then the second time I have sex with her, I get all cold and chilly. Hmm. Well, let me think about that. Uh, uh, why don't you go to the waiting room and send in your wife to talk to me?
all crowded and dirty and ugh, you're crazy to want to go to Rome. So how are you going to get there? Well, he was on the internet and he got these really good prices on Delta. Delta? That's a terrible airline. <laughs> the planes are old. The help, the, you know, the uh, stewardesses are ugly. And they're all in place. And you know what Delta stands for? Don't expect luggage to arrive. <laughs> so, where are you going to stay when you get there? Well, he booked a room in this charming hotel right on the Tiber River. And it's supposed to be quite quaint and lovely. It's called the Testa. Don't go any further. I know that place. Everybody thinks it's going to be special and elegant, but it's really a dump. The worst hotel in the city. The rooms are small, the service is surly, and they're way overpriced. Huh. So, uh, what do you want to do when you get there? Well, we plan to do the regular tourist things, but my hope and my dream is to see the Pope. Ha! Huh, that's rich. You and about a million other people trying to see him. Why, you look the size of an ant. <laughs> well, good luck to you on this lousy trip of yours. You're going to need it. He thinks that he's <laughs> Hello there, Jan. Well, tell me, how did that trip to Rome go? Oh, Betty, it was fabulous. The airline was overbooked, so they pushed us up to first class. We wined and dined the whole way. And when we got there, our luggage was waiting for us. It was so wonderful. Then we went to the hotel, and they were overbooked, so they put us in a suite. And after they have done a $5 million rehabilitation, it was <laughs> wonderful. We had our own steward that waited on us hand and foot. Well, that's all well and good, but I know you didn't get to see the Pope. Well, actually, we were touring the Vatican when one of the Swiss guards came and tapped my husband and me on the shoulder and asked if we would like to see the Pope that occasionally he likes to visit with the tourists. Of course jumped at the chance, so they took us to his quarters, and we waited just a few minutes when he walked in. And when I knelt down to kiss his ring, he whispered in my ear, Really? What did he say? He said, Where did you get that crummy haircut? 